when is the draft? What's the date of the draft? 20, I'm going to guess, 25th, April right? April 20th, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're well less than a month away. We got to get going. We're doing one thing about Every day we're going to tell you guys about a prospect, something about them that you need to know where they're going to go, what their player comp is, that we're not in, really in the player comp game. Um, but Hamilton, here, I mean, it's April 1st. It's go time. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and this is an exciting week. As you mentioned, we got Rattler coming up on the show. We're getting Joe Milton, too, who's been getting a lot of buzz lately at the quarterback position. Uh, Lad McConkey, the Georgia receiver, who's a potential first-round pick, is going to join you in studio. So we're, we're going full speed ahead here. When is Caleb going to come on the show? Should we make a bet now? Because I think Caleb, if you're Caleb, you're like Devin Hester, Hall of Famer, who I look, he looked up to. He loved Devin yeah. Hester. He came on the show and kind of like wasn't the best about me. Then that misconstrued, speaking of April Fool's, April 1st, like completely like jokes on everyone, how they took out of context a little bit, what Jalen Johnson was saying, a star cornerback yeah. for the Bears about Caleb Williams as well. I'm like, Caleb, we, we love Caleb. I want Caleb on the show yeah. and I very much want to be well thought of by Caleb Williams. So we're trying to pull some strings, work some things out ahead of the draft um, as we see who Chicago decides to pick. Lots to get to. It is April Fool's Day. You know I do not subscribe. Most things in April I don't subscribe to. The draft is always a good time. We were going to go to Detroit. We had a team meeting about it. We're deciding not to go um, this year. I don't subscribe to my birthday. That's not a thing. And April Fool's also not a thing that I want to talk about. But I was looking at, like, things people fall for on April Fool's, and the, my makeup artist today said, oh, I just, like, will call somebody and say, Did you just posted a naked selfie on your Instagram story. Oh, God. Like, they dropped a nude <laughs> by accident, like, while the phone was in their pocket. And I was like, that's traumatic. Like, you shouldn't do that. But yeah. is there anything that you guys have fallen for, always fall for, um, let me know. And we're going to go through some things because we're anti this day. So in a bizarro world, <laughs> here's some things in the NFL that we are not falling for, okay? We are not going to... And, and listen, we have a beautiful partnership with FanDuel Sportsbook. You can go over there and have the time of your life and do all of that. But I am not, I don't think Hamilton is either as far as what we talked about yesterday. We are not falling and being fooled by dramatic shifts in draft odds, okay? And the story right now is J.J. McCarthy's meteoric rise to fame here, okay? His odds to be the number two pick have jumped from over plus 2,000 at the start of the process to plus 600 last week, as you can see here. Oh, and that went from that to plus 450 just this morning. Listen, cool your jets, kids. Could he be the number two overall pick? Sure, I have nothing against that. I hope he is fine. He's fantastic. He crushed the combine, his pro day. We've heard reports that I've, I've heard, I've put it together, my own like sort of thesis uh, and things that make sense uh, that he could be in play for the commanders. Why not? But am I letting this sway me into believing that he's absolutely 100% the guy over Jaden Daniels? Absolutely not. And for the people really trying to read into these odds, and everyone does, and they should, I get it. Remember what happened last year with Will Levis, okay? Not only did he leave me scorned and did not show up on my show and completely stood me up, I'll never get over it, but when um, there was this Reddit post, you guys remember this? There was a Reddit post that pushed him from plus 4,000 to be the number one overall pick all the way down to plus 500. So what you have to do, don't be April fooled by this. I take every draft rumor with a little grain of salt like I like my shots of tequila, okay? Uh, it, especially when the odds change, you know, after last year, into this year, into this month. I'm not getting fooled again by crazy shifts in odds like we're seeing with J.J. McCarthy. 